Problem solving, making a list, lesson 4.2. We can make a list to help us solve a word problem. The list will be a table of all the information given to us in the word problem. And we can make rows, they go across, and columns, they go up and down for the information. So here I've made a table for our word problem and you can see I have a column for nickels, I have a column for pennies, and I have a column for total amount. So here's our word problem. Emma has four coins in her bank. And no coin is greater than five cents. Now, if no coin is greater than five cents, then that means it includes five cents or one cents. It just can't be bigger than five cents. See? How much money could be in her bank? So we know she has four coins, all right? So we start with four pennies. So the four coins could be four pennies and no nickels, right? That would be four coins. Well, if it was four pennies, then she would have four cents. If she had three pennies and one nickel, that would be four coins. Then she would have five, six, seven, eight cents. See? Five, six, seven, eight cents. If she had two nickels and two pennies, that would be four coins. That would be 12 cents. She'd have five cents, and five more is 10 cents, and one more is 11, and one more is 12. She'd have 12 cents. If she had three nickels and one penny, that would be four coins. Then she would have these three nickels and one penny, and that would be five and five more is 10, and five more is 15, and one more is 16. She'd have 16 cents. And if she had four nickels and no pennies, that would be four coins. Then she would have four fives. Five and five is 10, and five more is 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and five more is 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. She'd have 20 cents, see? So she could have either four cents, eight cents, 12 cents, 16 cents, or 20 cents in her bank with those four coins. We don't know how much she has, but those are the choices that she could have if she has four coins, all right? Let's try one that's a little bit different. Tala has two coins and no coin is greater than 10 cents. Well, if it's not greater than 10 cents, that means it includes 10 cents. So the coins can be 10 cents, 5 cents, or 1 cents, but she's only got two of them. So how much money could she have? And we make a list to show every combination of, whoops, of two coins, right? This should be a two, of two coins, okay? So she can only have two coins, but they're either, it's either dimes, nickels, pennies, so she has two pennies, that's two coins, that would be two cents. She has one penny and one nickel, that's a five and a one, that's six cents. If she has two nickels, well, that's five plus five, that's ten cents. If she has one dime and one penny, well, that's eleven cents, that's ten and one, that's eleven. If she has one dime and one nickel, that's two coins. That would be 10 and five more, that would be 15. And if she has two dimes and no nickels and no pennies, that would be two coins. Then she would have 20 cents. So those are all the different choices she could have for having two coins, see? It could be any one of these because we don't know what the coins are. We're just making a table to show what they could be, see? So how many different amounts of money could Tala have? She could have one, two, three, four, five, six different amounts of money, couldn't she? We have six different amounts. One, two, three, four, five, six. And what is the greatest amount she could have? That means what is the largest amount of money she could have? Well, that would be the 20 cents, wouldn't it? That's the biggest amount. That's the greatest amount. 20 cents. 
And what is the least amount she could have? The smallest, the littlest amount she could have. Well, that would just be the two pennies. That would be two cents, wouldn't it? So you can make a table to help you answer word problems so that you can organize the information that's given to you in the words. Okay? That'll help you. All right? I'll see you next video. Have a great day. Bye.